Today is uh, November 9th, uh, 2024, and I've booted into a uh, focal pop 32-bit uh, ISO, and I'm, uh, today I'm going to go through with you how to uh, install 32-bit uh, uh, Puppy Linux in internal hard drive of a legacy BIOS PC. So this uh, usually uh, is an older uh, computer that can only use 32-bit uh, <coughs> uh, Puppy Linux. So I have an internal hard drive that's new here, SDL, which is uh, one terabyte. And we're going to set that up so it will not only boot from this, but also will have save folder within it. <coughs> So I realized that you're not going to have a focal uh, pop 32 uh, uh, loaded up uh, when you fo want to follow this. So easiest way to do it is just put into Vento USB stick and uh, put in a focal pop ISO uh, uh, in it <coughs> so you can boot into it. And then you'll come to uh, a screen similar to this. The next uh, major thing that we need to uh, do is to uh, go ahead and partition this hard drive. Uh, uh, so it will go ahead and accept the uh, 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 PUP 32-bit uh, Puppy Linux. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and get it to Gparted. And in my case, it's the SDL. So it will go all the way down. SDL is a one gig, one terabyte, I should say, and that's okay. That's the correct one. Right now, it doesn't have any uh, file uh, because I wiped it off. So first thing, what you want to do is go ahead and go, go get into create partition table, and then make sure because we're going to be uh, using it in legacy BIOS, it has to be MS DOS uh, uh, table top uh, table type. And we're going to apply. And then, of course, it's going to wipe everything out in that hard drive. So then we'll go ahead and uh, new. And then because uh, we're going to, uh, initially, we're just going to uh, install uh, one 32-bit uh, 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 puppy ISO. So they'll take uh, ac actually less than a 1 gig. But uh, we'll go ahead and, uh, since we've got plenty of space, we'll go ahead and give it full gig. Uh, around the 4 gig and ext4 is fine and then we're gonna uh, give it a uh, label of capital pups so and then we can go ahead and add alta and then next we're gonna have to uh, create another one and because of the uniqueness of uh, puppy linux with the say importance of say folder uh, uh, I uh, strongly recommend that you go ahead and create a separate uh, save partition. So we'll just go ahead and uh, uh, give it, uh, uh, let's say, f uh, let's say, let's give it f around 30, uh, uh, 30 gig, so less than 30 gig. So and then we'll label it as. Uh, uh, anything you want but the VV just has to be unique in my case so we'll go ahead this is going to be a save partition and then we can go ahead and add the next uh, is uh, is an option but I think that because we have such a large space what we may want to do is save a uh, separate partition here for all the data like photos and music and so on because if you do want to install more than one 32-bit puppy Linux and then be able to uh, access all your files, music and photo and so on, this way you can use this partition no matter how many puppy Linux uh, uh, ISOs you're running without having to copy it uh, in individual uh, uh, partition. So I hope that's clear. So, so since we have a uh, very large uh, hard drive, we'll give a plenty of space here, and I want to uh, leave a little bit in the back uh, and uh, uh, 
just uh, just in case you don't need a uh, a swap uh, swap partition uh, generally in Puppy Linux unless you have less than four gig of uh, RAM. So uh, this machine is actually uh, uh, ha has a, a sixteen gig of RAM. I won't need it, but. Uh, I'll just show you because uh, some of you is going to have you're going to have a very low powered uh, with a, a less RAM so we're going to give it a, a approximately uh, a 1 gig uh, at the end we'll leave it uh, right. and then <clears throat> this uh, we're going to uh, uh, label this as a small letter data so that's where all the data, the photos and so on is going to go to. And then we have this last one here. So if you uh, have a less than 4 gig of RAM, you may want to just put a, a little bit of Linux swap there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to apply everything. So we'll just go ahead and apply everything. Now to be able to have this as a <coughs> bootable device we must not forget to uh, put a uh, uh, partition one uh, flag so we'll just do that uh, as soon as this is finished so this is finished now and we'll go ahead and go back to the parti first partition and then manage flags and we will ha have to uh, click the uh, boot and then now it's now the partition uh, is uh, done so we have now three partitions and the fourth is you're not seeing it because that's a, a, a Linux swap so <coughs> what we need to do is fill the first partition with a 32-bit uh, 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 puppy Linux so I have a I have it ready in an external drive here files that we may need so I'm just going to go ahead and grab a ISO file what we're going to do I think is so uh, we'll go ahead and focal pub 32 I'll, get, I'll leave a link to where you can uh, download these files obviously so we're going to click and then we're going to mount this image and then we have a image that's uh, ready what we need to do uh, is uh, uh, I would suggest that you go ahead and uh, make a uh, uh, just for demonstration purposes we're gonna uh, put in a focal pup and then Jamie pup both 32 bit just for this demonstration purposes so we've created uh, two uh, partitions so FP under so this is FP focal pup so Whenever you want to do manual um, uh, start of a puppet Linux uh, from ISO, you need what you need to do is grab all the SFS files, generally more than two, and then you have to uh, grab initrd and then VM Linux. So you need, uh, uh, in this case, six files in it. So we'll just grab it over here and then copy into it and um, this may take a couple minutes or uh, even longer so that actually uh, took about five minutes because uh, I'm using the spinning hard, uh, hard drive and also because I'm using 32-bit uh, puppy Linux likely so we'll go that's uh, FP is done and then we'll close this and then what we want to do is to do the same thing with Jamie Pup32. So we'll just click it and we want to mount this image and gra again grab all the SFS files. There is uh, so this, there's four again. You need RD, VM lens, and we'll grab it and then copy it in under JP. Now I've done the exact same with the uh, JP, which which is uh, opened here, and JP uh, was done, and then we'll just confirm it, and under JP you can see the files are in it. So we'll just back out, and then while we're at it at this time, uh, what we'll do is go ahead and uh, populate the uh, data 
uh, partition here which has nothing in it so I have from my external drive what we can do is just go ahead and put some music and uh, music files in there and then we'll copy it so there's some music there so now I've uh, uh, filled in uh, some music and picture files so this is a music folder and this some pictures uh, into the uh, data uh, uh, partition so we'll see how that works later on and basically what you have to do is make a soft link to the uh, puppy Linux uh, uh, ISO so um, next what we need to do is uh, we need to set up a boot uh, grub on a SDL1 first partition so right now it has uh, this but we need a, a menu list uh, basically here so to do that what we need to do is uh, fire up grub for DOS and then this will uh, when we have to make sure that it is in the right uh, so we want to uh, put it in SDL1 here and then search only within this device and then legacy and menu list is fine and then OK and then it automatically picks up there is two uh, different uh, uh, FOSA pub uh, uh, the uh, puppy Linux so we'll just uh, the one thing I would recommend here is no copy comma and there's no space at all so in between this makes a, a booting process a little faster so uh, we have no windows so we'll go just go ahead and delete it so we'll just go ahead and uh, give it an OK and that's going to set up a little menu list here and then we're going to edit it so there's a menu list here and we're going to edit it here and we're going to take a closer look so timeout is uh, we may want to shorten it actually so because there's only two uh, a puppy Linux so this is the first one is FP the FOSA pup and we'll just make the uh, the it'll just shorten it uh, so we have a, another one is JP is here and then we'll leave everything else and then we don't need the advanced menu and we don't need windows it makes it uh, very uh, uh, concise when you boot, up, boot into it so we'll go ahead and save it and then uh, close close everything and also close so now we're pretty much uh, ready to boot into the uh, the hard drive partition that we just created so this is internal hard drive and we'll continue on after uh, we booted into uh, focal pup 32 Uh, I've booted into my new uh, uh, hard drive that's uh, installed uh, a focal pop 32 uh, so this is uh, actually after initial quick setup screen so I did uh, have to uh, log out and save and I, I made sure that I save in a save folder format in SDB2 uh, so th because this was the partition I cr we created so let's take a brief look inside and then uh, automatically it, um, it made the uh, uh, FP folder within it and then inside there is this uh, save folder and I, I elected just to put an X on, uh, on there just to uh, uh, make it easier to identify we are so the, before the first first thing we are we ought to do is just uh, clearly identify that this is the uh, hard drive uh, that we uh, uh, configured and set up so it's good idea just to go ahead and right click 
and then run puppy uh, run a p mount puppy drive mounter because I want this uh, partition to be uh, um, mounted every time after a boot so because this is where the data is so we'll just go to the data and then mount partition at boot okay so that way um, and then and then we can go ahead and mount it so so that way this music and uh, a picture uh, folder will be uh, available as soon as uh, it boots up so uh, while we're at it the first thing that I want to do is just go ahead and make it easier for me just minus sign makes it smaller and here again minus sign and this is the home folder uh, root uh, folder so because I want to be able to just click on the initial root uh, a folder for example to access uh, music files I don't want to have to uh, separately uh, go to the SBD3 uh, and so on so what you can do is and, and this uh, this is a nice little trick is just go ahead and uh, drag it with your left uh, mouse and then soft link it so let go and then link relative is what we want then you have a music folder that actually is not in the uh, SDB but it's actually in SDB3 and then similarly we want to just drag the picture folder and then relative again now that way if I just click on music I actually uh, have entered uh, this partition so this is a trick that you can use if you have for example more than uh, one 32-bit uh, um, uh, ISO so for example we have Jamie Pup and then uh, that way I can also do the exactly same and be able to access this although the uh, uh, puppy Linux is different ISO so I hope that's uh, clear